Hi, and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to use the free Mac application Sketch to make some screenshots from a DVD. So Sketch is a free application just for Mac. It's really easy to use, very intuitive, and it's free. So you can head on over to sketch.com to download the Sketch application. After you've got that set up, let's go ahead and open our DVD player with whatever movie you'd like to grab some frames from. I'm going to first hide Firefox here. And I've got my DVD player application open to the Matrix movie, for example. Now we want to keep our DVD player application. You want to turn off full screen and you can do that by hitting Command F. Here's full screen. We want to, we want to turn that off. You can either do that by clicking on this icon here or hitting Command F on the keyboard. So after you've got this small window, we're going to open up Sketch. So after you open the Sketch application, there are two ways we can start to set up this screenshot. You can either go to Capture and Frame Snapshot, or you can use this handy keyboard shortcut, Shift Command 7, which I like to use. I find it the easiest thing to use. So we'll go ahead and do that. Hold down Shift Command 7 on the keyboard and Sketch will become transparent and this little inner box I'm going to drag it to fill the frame of my DVD player application. You can frame this however you prefer. I prefer to keep the black edges. Some people prefer to just capture everything without the black edges. So I'm going to line this up here. The nice thing is once you align this properly, as long as you don't move sketch during the capture process, when you do further screenshots, then your images are going to be aligned exactly. They're going to be the exact same pixel dimensions every time. Of course, if you pop in another DVD, you're going to have to set this up again. But DVDs have different uh, different height resolutions. Now when you have it the way you like it, you want to hold and click on the drag me button right here. And then you can drag this screenshot. Right now it's saving as a PNG. I'm just going to release it on the desktop. And then you've got your saved screenshot here. Now I prefer for capture screenshots to actually save in JPEG and you can change that using this little arrow this little gray arrow here and I'm going to change to JPEG you can also change the JPEG quality settings right here I like to keep it at maximum if you're just posting on a blog or you're not using it for any special use very high quality is just fine but I like to do maximum quality so I'm going to save one again holding clicking and holding down on the the drag me button and then dragging it out to whatever folder you like to do. I like to keep an alias on my desktop of a folder that I like to save my DVD screenshots in. Here are a couple of quick tips for getting the exact frame that you want in a DVD. So for the matrix, I'm going to rewind. They're good doing the kung fu scene here. You can hit spacebar to pause. You can also use the arrow keys on your Mac keyboard to advance forward, just the right arrow key to advance in steps, which makes it really easy to get the exact frame that you want, the exact look, the exact precise frame from a DVD. And I like this one, one of these right here, where he's spinning, he's getting flipped in midair. And again, you can use Command Tab to switch back to Sketch. And if you move Sketch, you're not going to have the exact same framing. So just remember your keyboard shortcut, or you can go to Image or Capture Frame Snapshot here. So again, I'm going to use Shift Command 7. Click and drag the Drag Me button. Drag it to your preferred location. 
you've got your image here. Thanks for watching today. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them. Thank you.